The highlight of the week, sponsored by Dave Frannick Auto. Looking for that first car for your son or daughter? Don't panic. See Dave Frannick. We go to a pack on high school, and the bottom of the first, the Chiefs take a 1-0 lead as Sammy Kupka draws the bases loaded walk for the Chiefs. Then Julie Brennan follows with this productive out with the RBI roller to second base, and it's 2-0 pack on with runners on second and third. And then watch Hannah Bebo clear the bases with this rocket that rolls to the fence and left, and our pack on has a 4-0 lead after one inning of play. We go to the bottom of the second, and it's a packed on catcher Vicky Gehring with the hard single to left for the Chiefs as they look to add to their lead. Then after Jamie Kufka reached on a fielder's choice, and the runners advance to second or third, watch Sammy Kufka as she laces this two-out, two-run double to right center, and Opacon has a 6-0 lead over the Mustangs. Opacon wasn't through yet. Watch Hannah Beebold again come through for the Chiefs with his ribby single just inside the third base line, and it's 7-0 Opacon after two innings of play. Okay, top of the third, and Cheyenne Hamler of Sussex Tech gets the second of her three slap hits on the day to lead things off. Hamler then was erased on a Megan Januzzi fielder's choice, but Januzzi scores here on this blast by Jen Prendergast to deep left field for a run-scoring double, and Tech is on the scoreboard and trails 7-1. Well, pack on with scoreless in the bottom of the third before the Mustangs from Sussex Tech go back to work in the fourth, and in a good at-bat, it's Jen Prendergast as she laces his two-out ribby single to left and it's now 7-4 he pack on. Tech would add another run on an error to make it 7-5, and the Mustangs tie it up here as it's Kim D'Amelio again with a big hit for the Mustangs, a two-run single, and we are tied at 7. What a comeback by the Stangs. All right, Sussex Tech would take an 8-7 lead on an error in the top of the sixth, and then watch Megan Genuzzi of Sussex Tech protect the lead with a great catch in right field in the bottom of the inning to rob Pam Hahn of a short extra base hit. What a catch. Okay, we go to the bottom of the seventh, Opakon's trailing 8-7, and after an error, Taylor T keeps the inning alive for Opakon with this single to center, and they have runners on first and second and two outs. And then Pam Hahn sends everyone home with this blast, the double to deep right center that bounces off the fence as the two runs come in, Hannah Beeble, then Taylor T, as Hahn gets the game-winning hit as Opakon rallies for a wild 9-8 victory at Opakon High School for the Chiefs' fifth straight win. We were up by seven, then before you know it, we were down by one, and the girls were into it on the bench. They came in, and they got some hits and stayed with it, and Pam Hahn ripped a, a bomb in the end, and we, we won the game. What else could you say? It was fantastic. We've been wanting to win this game for a while now because we just beat Lenape, so we came with a lot of confidence. So for us to win this in the last inning, it's just great. It's great. It was a great win for us. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw Pam hit that ball. That's our second walk-off of the season, so... It was a good win for us. It was pretty exciting. I just couldn't believe that Pam was able to hit a walk-off. And the fact that we got able to not only score one run, we scored two to win the game. What a great win for Old Pack on, especially for Pam Hahn. In her previous at-bat, she was robbed by Megan Januzzi in right field. But this time, she left no doubt as she hit the game-winning two-run double. I was confident. When I went up, I was like, you know what, be confident, hit the ball, this is a big game for you, you got this, and yeah, and you just have to be confident. You play, to, you play for this kind, these kind of movement, moments, so yeah. Well, Pat Con had an early lead in this one, 7 to nothing. gives Sussex Tech a lot of credit for coming back and taking the lead, but Julie Brennan came in in relief for Opacon and settled things down. We got some runs, brought Julie in from the outfield, how about a kid, and she gave up one run after that. What, what can you say? She, she did great. Brennan's one of four pitchers that Coach Paul Miller can use here at Opacon. We have four great pitchers on this team, and everybody does a great job every time they go in there. And even if somebody gets a couple hits off them, everybody's there to pick them back up. With two outs in the bottom of the seventh, big hit for Taylor Teague as she kept the inning alive. When you go up to the plate and you're in a tough spot like that, I just went up with an open-minded and just completely forgot about all the mistakes and just went up there with a clear mind and just hit the ball. This whole pack on team is riding a confidence wave right now. Five straight wins, including a huge win over Lenape Valley, handing the Pats their first loss in the Freedom Division this year. I think we just won five straight. Um, beating Lenape here was the first time we did it in four years, and they were, though, determined. I mean, the girls came in, they wanted to beat Lenape Valley, and they put it together. They played with confidence yesterday. Today we jumped off, you know, got runs early, but uh, and they came back in, but they like winning. They're, they're, that's what they've been doing lately. What can you say? That's big. You know, we've had a lot of confidence. We've been playing so well, and I'm very proud of everyone, my whole team, everyone. Beating Lenape is one of the biggest accomplishments ever because, one, they were 
probably the best in our Freedom Division. And I don't remember the last time we have beaten Lenape, so that was a good win. And today with the walk-off hit and winning, that's good. This is a very young Opakon team. They made states last year. They're back in it this year. Coach Paul Miller was around when they won the section in 05. He hopes this team can go deep into the states again. We won it back in 05, and it was fantastic. If I can see these girls win one, I mean, they'll enjoy it more than me, but nothing better than a kid to win a state championship. I hope they go all the way. We're pretty confident now that we got that win. That was a big one for us, and yesterday's Lenape game was a big win for us. Um, yeah, we're ready for states. We're all ready for states. We just want to be able to be that first team in over, what, seven years to win.